Hello everyone and welcome to our new video on routing in Vue.js. Before we move forward, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any updates on any new videos or series that we post across. Now before we start to understand how we can do routing, the first question comes to my mind is what is actually routing? Routing is like navigating from one page on a website to another page on the same website. So that is you might have come across from a website like uh, you have a home page and then you have a contact us page or you have product listing page or different set of pages. So there if you have ever noticed only the menu part would remain constant and the content that is the main content would change. And if you have noticed that the URL also changes according to the route that you are in. So if you are in contact us, it would be something uh, like contact hyphen us in the route or contact us simple one keyword. So this is routing when you want to navigate from one page to another in your application, same application that is routing. Now to do routing in Vue.js, you have to import a particular package that is view router and once you import this you create a file that is router.js in your src folder and import the router from this package and register it in the middleware of view and then you probably give a place holder where you want all the content of your routes to get rendered and this is this is the basic theory now let's let's cut it to a practical aspect and understand how we can do it so so first of all I have installed the router that is router version 3.5.1 in my application and once that is installed and if you see in my src folder I have a router.js file now in this router.js I imported two basically uh, basic properties from the node modules that is view and the router from view router now this router is registered with view so that view knows that yes now i want to use the router now in this router we would definitely import uh, definitely register all the routes available in our application so as of now like i have two basic routes that is one is the login page that we were actually creating and one is edit user page so in edit user page this is a simple edit user page this part I'll explain you coming uh, next in our video in the same video but uh, but just to understand this is another route where the, it would uh, be like this my URL slash edit user slash some number and that number would represent the ID of the of the particular user and according to that we'll render the data of that user to get edited then is in this route you might have seen a path a name so this name is just for your understanding just for application sake this path is something that user will see in the url so slash uh, ha only forward slash means there is nothing in the route uh, only the base url so if it is just the base url we'll take the user to the login page and if it is user then it would navigate to edit user view page so this is edit user view that we have created inside the components now let's see how we will navigate users and how we will do this so i have created a nav bar where uh, in my application and i have also registered a router hyphen view now this router hyphen view means any route any route that you have registered in router.js the corresponding component uh, template and script everything everything inside this component would be placed inside this router view so it would be this place where this would this, this would enter so rest all if you give anything apart from this uh, uh, router view in this app component that would be some static content that won't change from when you navigate from one place to one page to another that's basically the menu that we want so the menu would remain only on one page and once you change the page the menu would remain same which was not the case when you were using the plain javascript things you have to 
uh, write the complete menu in other uh, every another uh, view that you would have created now let's run this application and see how uh, actually the login component HTML and everything is there in your view page so if you see when I click on the login the application redirects itself to a fresh route so if I give anything apart from login there is nothing because the route is not there the route is not there and it, it is the view application is not able to fetch the corresponding component for it so in this case normally we would want to show some error message to users so it would be something like page not found or something so those things we can register but that is something that we'll discuss in later part of this video so this is my login component and i am here now in my login component if i go to the login component I, if you remember in our last video we created a user listing so this is the user listing now what i want is from edit of each user now this id uh, one two three is id of each user that i just added to have a clear picture uh, to have a clear picture on which edit you can you can any day go ahead and remove this uh, from from the binding so if you can remove this it would be plain edit you can also create an font awesome icon over here in place of edit keyword that's all up to your designing what you want in your design page and no one would stop you from doing that so this is this is the basic ht uh, this is the basic table that is there in list user and over here in the last column what i have done is i have created a router link and i've said route to this path edit user slash the id of the particular item of the user so it would be one two three correspondingly whatever id we have in the table so it would take the user to this path so if you see i have got this path in the url so edit id uh, id is one now if you go to back then if you click on two it would be edit user two so this is how i created this and when we go to the edit user component now normally we would land up in this component and we would want to access this parameter that we have passed so to access the parameter we have the property special property that is dollar route uh, in that we have params and then the id this id is nothing but the variable that you have mentioned in the router so if you would have said it as name over here then you would access it as a name over here because id won't be something that you would you would get over here uh, let me check id of undefined i think this page did not refresh okay the route route.js was not saved if you see now this is so what we can do is we can actually plan to console log the complete params to see what we are getting in console log so if you see console log see name is there if i change this to route to id it would map it to id over here so if you see id is there okay so i'll keep it as id only for us just to have clear names of variables so this is how you you get into the route that you want now if you want to have a navigation on click of some button or performing some action while performing some action you found that no this is not the right place the user should be navigated to some other route which is probably which is impossible to list in the navigation probably if you if you notice the in edit this edit user id one two three you can have n number of users you cannot list that in your menu bar right so this is how you want to navigate it programmatically so what you have to do is you just have to uh, on the action you just have to do this dot router dot push and you can push a name name which is registered over here so same name that you registered here so that same name you want to pass in in this now if you have certain parameters that you want to pass 
you are open to pass params and then let's say id one two three whatever you want so it would be like whenever you save so id so it is saying that cannot read property id because id is something that that is not accepted by the login page so that's it so this is all about routing normally and if you want to explore more on this routing then definitely you can go ahead and view uh, view router uh, and there is a complete documentation given by view so there are n number of mechanisms or things that you can play around with the, the routing so you can definitely go ahead and check this out uh, for yourself in case it is required i'll put this link on the description of the video so that you can any day go ahead and refer to this thank you for watching the video please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel also press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any notifications of any new videos or series that we put forward we would love to hear from you of any feedbacks or any any uh, tutorial that you want us to do of any specific features of the language which we have put across or any new language that you want us to uh, make videos on. So we would appreciate if you can uh, comment on the videos and uh, we would definitely reach out and look forward to uh, answer your queries.